Hey folks, this is Nod, and we are mucking around in X-Plane. Alright, today I would like to talk to you guys briefly about um, variometers, and then very shortly I will have a big treat for you guys, so stay tuned, uh, you're going to love this. Okay, here we are in the uh, in the cockpit of the default X-Plane X, uh, SK-21. And here's the instrument I want to talk to you about, the um, Total Energy Compensated Variometer. That sounds very technical. All right, so you probably have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Yes, it kind of shows you when you're going up and when you're going down and when there's lift and when there isn't, but it's not doing it properly. At least it hasn't been until today. Um, apparently there would be, there's been a patch, and um, we're all very excited. Supposedly they have fixed everything. Actually, um, if you've done any, if you spent any time in FSX, um, you've probably seen some of uh, B21's uh, work, otherwise known as a uh, Ian Lewis. Um, he has been working with uh, X-Plane a little bit to try to fix this thing. <laughs> so um, he's, he's given him a bunch of suggestions and I think some code or something uh, and uh, supposedly they have fixed it today so we're gonna go check that out. And I also have a big surprise for you guys uh, that'll come up in a little bit so stay tuned to this. Uh, you're gonna love this. Definitely stay tuned. Okay, so yeah, I'm running the beta version of X-Plane right now. Uh, if you're looking, if you're watching this in the future, then um, yeah, don't, this is probably not very relevant. But um, yeah, uh, this supposedly is the improved glider, so I'm going to take her up for a spin here. So, put the spoilers away and get ready to take off here. All right, let's get her in the air. Oh, probably should turn. I always forget to turn these darn things on. Come okay, here. All right, up we go. Make it up a little bit here, get some altitude. Up, 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 here we go. Alright. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's come off there. And let's get through some gliding here. Okay, so I have a. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get up a little higher. Let me get up a little higher and then we'll uh, discuss this. Be right back. Okay, we're up a little higher. Got a little, a little bit more room to breathe here. Okay, let's uh, talk about the uh, the variometer here, the main the main instrument. Um, I'm actually going to read a passage from uh, B21's. Uh, he wrote a pretty good description on the uh, on on how this instrument works. I'm just Apologize, I'm not really good at reading, nar uh, narrating stuff, but uh, let's see here. All right, so he says, the variometer's main needle is displaying total energy compensated climb rate. All right, so this is uh, simply your actual rate of climb or rate of sink with small adjustments to compensate for changes in your airspeed, which uh, otherwise affect the reading. So, uh, when the pilot chooses to pull up to enter a thermal, or to dive to exit a sink area, an uncompensated variometer would include the change in altitude due to the change in velocity in its readout, thus obscuring the uh, climb or the sink rate due to the rising air. Therefore, an uncompensated variometer can only accurately indicate the vertical speed of the glider when flying at a constant speed. Yeah, that's a problem. So, uh, the effect of total energy compensation can easily be seen if you pull up into a climb in still air, an uncompensated variel will show a rapid uh, climb rate, while a total energy variel will correctly show you continuing to lose energy. Okay. The indicated climb on an uncompensated variometer is particularly misleading as you, as you pull up into a thermal. At this point, the uncompensated uncompensated vario will indicate a climb whether you're in a thermal or not so it's possible for inexperienced pilots to be turning and climbing into a thermal that is actually not there uh, these have been called stick thermals I like to call them stick lift but it's the same thing same concept anyway as they're created by the action of the pilot pulling back on the stick so um, the action of, of diving or pulling up affects the speed of the airplane of the sailplane. The sailplane can exchange height for speed 
or speed for height, i.e. potential energy or kinetic energy or kinetic energy. Okay, I'm just going to stop there because it's getting a little bit, little thing. But anyway, basically what he's saying is, uh, is yeah, moving the stick around on this thing um, will affect the needle, which you can see is doing a little bit here, but it's actually pretty good. It's it's uh, it's showing my you know I'm in a constant sort of because uh, I'm flying around the speed here around the uh, least sink I'm getting just a little bit less than uh, one meter per second uh, you know down, which is good. So I would actually say this might might kind of be fixed. This is sort of doing what it's supposed to be doing. I mean it's moving a little bit, so I'm, I'm pulsating, but certainly nothing like the uh, the other glider here. Okay, so for example, here's the. Uh, is the original unpatched uh, ASK21, and as you can see, these needles are going all over the place. They're, uh, you know, they're, they shouldn't be doing that. And here is the patched ASK21 with the improved Verios. Uh, yeah, that does look better. Okay, enough about the default ASK21. I promised you guys a treat, and, um, well, here it is. And you say, well, wow, it's another ASK21. Slightly different livery, you say. Well, no, not really. Um, this is actually a, a somewhat different airplane. Um, this is a, a, a test bed we've been working on, or I should say a B21 has been working on. Um, and it, uh, well, check it out. It's got a fancy new instrument panel with lots of, like, new new instruments for us to play with so um yeah just like the the uh the default ask21 it's got the same uh, winter instrument here um you know with the to uh, total energy compensated and all that stuff but uh, check this out uh, um look you can rotate the bezel now so that works that's kind of totally awesome so yeah this is a this is a kind of a test bed for um you know, implementing these instruments and getting them into a into X plane, and you know, uh, this model is a bit clunky, but um, we're, we're working on putting it into the actual default uh, ASK21, and then you know, the next step is then to add this to other gliders and import you know more and more stuff. And but let me uh, show you around the cockpit here. So we've got the instrument we were just talking about, um, you know, the the, uh, the total energy uh, gate instrument on compensation. We've also got a a netto variometer here which um, takes this a little f step further and uh, accounts for the uh, the normal sync rate of the glider so that gives you a slightly different uh, reading we have um, this amazing speed to fly instrumentation here which with a McCready uh, setting so this will actually tell you how fast you need to glide to um, get to the, where you need to go in your turn points speaking of turn points we now have a glide computer check this little bad boy out it's uh, it's a little like uh, um, XC soar light, I would call this. So, um, for example, I could load a task here. It calls up this uh, menu, and uh, well, I'll load up our Zell MZ uh, FMS file. So I've got this set up as a, as a sort of task, but uh, open the file here. All right, so that's got a bunch of waypoints around here, um, the area here, and uh, I could actually scroll through them now. So right now we're about 2.5 miles from uh, waypoint one, which is the start of the course. And that is uh, 4,700 feet of um, altitude, which we're not at. We're above that, I think. Anyway, but uh, as you can see, I can step through the uh, the different turn points. Uh, three out of this, five of them total. So uh, you know, so you can actually uh, fly a fly a task just using this. It'll tell you. It also got this directional arrow here. I'll show you in a second. Um, you know, it'll tell you where to go, how far to go, and when you get to your task, and how, how high you're going to be. And that also applies to this over here. Uh, I think it works with this. Um, it works in sync with this um, speed to ta uh, speed to fly uh, instrumentation, which uh, I shall kind of show you. Actually, I'm not going to show you too much detail about this just yet. It's kind of a it's a work in progress, as I said. But um, yeah, you can uh, set this, and it'll um, it'll tell you how fast to go. Basically, you have to, the idea is you keep this needle centered. You know what? I'm just going to fly. <laughs> Let's get this thing in the air. So. Um, There's even a volume on the air. Very atonic. 
turned down a little bit. Okay. Let's get this thing rolling here. Alright, you hear that just shut off, Jen? All of a sudden the tone just stops. Ah, which is kind of neat. Um, there's a dead band in here, in this thing, so if you fly... Uh, once you got this set up right, you really won't hear a lot of beeping all the time you're flying, which is kind of nice, even when you're in lift. Speaking of lift, um, I actually don't have any lift turned on right now, so let's have a quick configure the uh, weather here a little bit. Alright, let me set this up real quick. Okay, so I'm going to set this uh, to anticipate some thermals maybe. Uh, I'm actually not sure if this is feet per minute this here, or whether it's a... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure whether this is feet per minute or um, knots, but uh, I set it to four. So to get to my next task waypoint, it's recommending I fly at this speed, so actually i got to speed up a little bit here. So I need to turn this way. That's a bit of a problem because it's actually on top of this mount here, and I'm obviously way low, but um, yeah, I'd have to climb up this hill here, which I'm not going to put you through here. Actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's fast forward a little bit here. Okay, I'm out over the valley now, and I'm well away from any ridge lift, so I'm going to drop this down to maybe, yeah, let's see, about four. Yeah, drop that down to four, so I'm going to continue on my way to my waypoint. Follow the zero, because I just did a thermal. Okay, so, slow down. I'm going to circle on the thermals. Yeah, I'm not really demoing this very well, but uh, it'd be help if I actually stayed in the thermal. Just back here, I thought. Okay, I don't know what happened to that, so... Uh, I'm going to swing around, continue on our way to our waypoint. Let me get back on the zero here. It wants me to fly, looks like, about almost 70, 70 knots, maybe. It's going to make it happy. And when I hit the thermal, it's going to suggest that, you know, the needle's going to go up, suggesting that I slow down. And uh, right now I need to speed up a little bit, because it's a bit below zero. But here it's not beeping at me now, which is good. And you know, if I get going too slow, it'll, uh, it should actually give me some, uh, let's see, actually, that's, yeah, actually, if I go, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's an amazing piece of your tech. Um, as I said, I'm not really doing it justice, but, uh, yeah, this glider is pretty awesome, and uh, it looks pretty nice too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be making this available uh, soon, or um, I don't know, maybe not this exact model, but you'll have access to these uh, wonderful tools very soon. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show in this video. I don't want to keep dragging this out too long, but this is the beginning of something big. There really isn't any excuse not to fly X plane anymore because we are we now have proper instrumentation. We have periometers that work properly now, and uh, you know, we're getting thermals that are kind of going work properly, and um, we got all sorts of cool weather engines going on right now, so um, yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> so, uh, it's exciting times to be involved with X-Plane and gliding, so um, alright, that'll do for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, post more information about this as it becomes available. Uh, take care, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.